video, we'll take a look at using what's known as an identity federation in cloud services, which provides you with another means to manage identities, but not entirely on your own, if you will. Now, I'll clarify that in just a moment, but the basic premise is that you delegate the responsibilities of authentication to an external entity, rather than having to manage all of the identities that may be involved with a cloud service yourself. Now, the primary components of an identity federation are an identity provider and a service provider. Now, this does not refer to something like the cloud service provider. So the identity provider is whichever entity maintains a current directory service of identities. And I'm going to give you an example of that again very shortly. So then the service provider refers to an entity that provides web services or simply the service that is available to be consumed. So what does all that mean? Well, let's look at the process first, then I'll give you that example. But a user might launch an app that is secured and therefore requires authentication. The app is redirected to the identity provider wherein the user enters their credentials. The identity provider verifies the credentials and if successful, grants an access token and then the user can access the app. Now, you might be thinking this isn't any different than just logging in to some kind of in-house application or a service that exists in your cloud environment already. But while this process is correct, it leaves out some key information, which I did intentionally to highlight the difference. So let's start over. The initial secured app that is trying to be accessed in the first step is not an app that is inherently available to you using any kind of identity that you already have. In other words, it's not your app or your service. It's somebody else's. And they do not maintain a directory service for you. But it still requires authentication. So how were you able to gain access? Well, here's the real world example. And I'd say there's probably a pretty good chance that you've seen this before. So let's say you're on a social media platform such as Facebook and you encounter a post about an article that you'd like to read. So you click on the link. This opens a separate page informing you that you need to log in to access the content. So that's the secured app that you're trying to access in the first step of this process. So you don't have any kind of account with the provider of this article. But you notice that there is an option that says, log in with Facebook. So you choose that option. 